First, you want to start off with your color gray. I typically have anywhere from four to five nodes depending on the footage. Here I have the nodes labeled in my color wheels, my white balance, contrast and saturation, and curves. Now when color grading, in my experience, it's best to apply any effects to separate nodes. That's why I lay out different nodes. Now I'm not a colorist. I usually play it by eye and use the parade scopes. If you want to know more about my coloring process, drop a comment down below. Now I went through and put like a little purplish bluish tint on it just to kind of give it like a unique look. Then we're going to go over to clips. I'm going to right click. Gonna hit generate LUT. Now, from my understanding, each one of these three have a basically a different level of, I guess you can say, effort it puts into color grading your footage. So, for the most effective, it most likely will be 65 point. It just still kind of depends on the footage and what look you're going for. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna go for 65. And then once you click on there, it'll bring you to your LUTs folder and showing you all the LUTs that you already have pre-installed. From here, you can make a new folder just by simply right-clicking, hitting new new folder i already did it and i made a folder just simply called my luts i'm gonna double click on it i made a little test let i'm gonna do test two and then hit save go into the corner hit luts and drop down to the name of your folder and now you have two different luts here and when it comes to applying luts i usually apply my luts last so in my first note i'll do something with like the lifts and gain gamma my color wheels i might do a little tweaking with my saturation once i've done that i apply my lut I'll go into the third node, double click on the letter that I want to apply, and then I'll go down here to key, and I'll drop down the gain. In my experience, you never want to apply a LUT on 100%. Sometimes they overdo it on the color. Of course, you want to get rid of a LUT. You can go in here and just right click and hit reset node. And LUTs are cool and all, but they're not universal. That's why I suggest making at least some moderate color changes and adjustments before dropping them on. And like I said, I always drop my LUTs on last and then I adjust the key output gain. If you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future content, and I'll see you next time.